We're about to see something happen in the world of XRP that could be very important. There is talk about the idea of burning all the XRP that is currently in escrow. At the moment, about 5,000 XRP are burned every day, which is about 1.825 million a year. However, there is growing talk that this rate is going to go up. Some people have even said that up to 25,000 XRP are being burned every day. It's also said that this behavior has something to do with Ripple's escrow accounts, which is very interesting. A former Ripple director has said that the situation could get more serious by stating that Ripple might burn all the XRP that is in escrow very quickly. There seems to be more than just talk about how likely it is that this will happen. This situation is even more interesting because it happens at the same time that Ripple Labs announces it will buy back almost $1 billion worth of XRP from the market. Many people think that this buyback and the possible escrow burn could have something to do with Ripple's deal with the SEC and that Ripple still needs XRP, which is why they are buying it back. The effects of this kind of trust burn are huge. In the event that all of Ripple's escrow XRP were burned, each coin could become worth $10,000. Based on my research and the fact that Ripple Labs is forming more and more partnerships and needs XRP to support these partnerships, I think that a value of $10,000 per XRP might be necessary for the company to keep running and grow. Hello, money side family. Welcome back to the place you know you can trust for all things XRP. There are a few things we need to do before we start with today's programming. Please do me a huge favor and hit the like button, subscribe and notifications to join our lively group. Hold on, there's something exciting about to happen. Once we reach 60,000 members, we'll be giving away a huge amount of XRP. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is follow these three easy steps. Make sure you're ready, and don't forget to add the secret code money side to the comments to make sure you get in. Many stories have said the same thing, saying that Ripple's cross-border payment partnerships will cause XRP to reach $10,000. It is not only possible for XRP's value to rise by that much, but it could happen because Ripple's global relationships are growing and depend, depend on XRP. XRP's growth has been nothing less than exponential, and new reports, both public and private, show that it is spreading around the world. Notably, a BlackRock study that got out shows that they want to use XRP to send money between countries. The most important parts of this report are brought out to show how XRP is becoming a globalized cross-border payment service. The recent statement by the Central Bank of Ireland that they plan to use XRP for cross-border transactions has only added to this momentum. As a payment method, XRP is now officially recognized as safe and reliable. This also means that Ripple, the company that created XRP, is now a registered virtual asset service provider. This is a big sign that XRP has a lot of promise in the financial world. In the meantime, the Global Central Bank of Japan has started to use XRP for their global banking systems. This is part of a bigger trend. Over 30 central banks are now working together to make a digital currency for central banks based on the XRP system. 19 of these central banks are said to have bought XRP worth a total of over $9.4 billion. This number doesn't even take into account the fact that the FedNow Instant Payment Service might start using XRP. Leaked information says that the FedNow Instant Payment Platform is thinking about using XRP for the blockchain part of their payment system. This change shows that people are becoming more sure that XRP's technology can be used in current financial applications. It is impossible to say enough about how important it is for the US Federal Reserve to take full control of XRP and Ripple Labs. This move, which is meant to stop people from buying XRP in stores, signifies a major change in the financial scene. Instead of making a standard central bank digital currency, the Federal Reserve plans to use the Ripplanet system, which uses the XRP ledger and digital asset, because it is efficient, cost-effective, and good for the environment. This method is especially useful because important central banks in over eight countries, including the BRICS nations, have already teamed up with Ripple Labs to use the Ripple Net system and the XRP ledger. The Federal Reserve has officially said that XRP and XLM could play a big role in the blockchain part of their FedNow payment system. This shows that they are serious about working with blockchain technology. The FedNow Services partnership with Metal Blockchain to enable quick changes between fiat and stablecoins is seen as a major step towards combining traditional banking with decentralized finance by one of their reports. At the moment, U.S. people can only make instant payments within the country using third-party apps like PayPal and Venmo or through computer wallets that store cryptocurrency. But the FedNow system, which is still being built, wants to include coins in its structure. Over 120 companies, including newcomers like U.S. Bank and Exchange Bank, as well as payment processors and solution providers, have signed up to use this platform. Through the possible addition of Ripple to the FedNow service, we're about to see a big change in the world of digital banking. Hey, Ripple, Ripple, President Arnold. Is one of the fintech companies being considered for this project? It is known for its open source distributed ledger technology and advanced cross-border payment solutions. Stella Lumens XLM, 
which is known for its blockchain-based payment network that makes international transfers faster and cheaper, is also on the list of possible partners for the FedNow service. This brings us back to the two main points of our conversation, how likely it is that XRP will hit $10,000 soon and how likely it is that Ripple Labs will burn a lot of XRP. The escrow, these two things will happen at the same time and will be big steps forward for the XRP digital asset. The planned burning of a lot of XRP from Ripple's lockup could be what drives the price of XRP to its expected $10,000 level. A former director of Ripple has said that the company could burn all the XRP that is in its escrow wallet, which has made this belief even stronger. This news is especially important because Ripple is still in court, is still in court with the SEC, suggesting that this kind of burn could be a part of a possible deal. Lots of things are affected by this. Massive reductions in XRP supply could not only push its price up to $10,000, but they would also create a huge demand for it from both individuals and businesses that want to use digital assets like XRP for international purchases. It the available amount of XRP would drop significantly as a result, which would require a higher price per XRP token. It's hard to believe how many deals XRP will be able to handle. The International Swaps and Derivatives Association is that alone handles over $1.2 quadrillion in transactions. Because of the large number and value of these transactions, each XRP must be worth $10,000. This story does a great job of summing up the size by making it clear that XRP wants to make transactions worth more than $1.2 quadrillion possible in the ISDA. And that's only one part of the story. This number doesn't even include other big players in ways that XRP is likely to make a difference. It doesn't include Swift's possible use of XRP for payments, SBI's plans to make it easier to send money using XRP across Southeast Asia, or the large purchases made by financial giants like BlackRock and JP Morgan, who are said to have started buying over 7.5 million XRP. Ripple's relationships like the one with a big payment company to improve the buying and selling of digital assets and make it easier for people in Africa to send money to other countries are, are also left out of this estimate, with quadrillions more coming in from central banks and countries accepting XRP and trillions more coming in from the private financial sector, it's clear that XRP needs to be worth even more. Each XRP coin could be worth anywhere from $50,000 to $75,000 at this point, even though this seems impossible. It fits with the fact that XRP is set to handle huge amounts of money around the world. Even though XRP is only worth $0.62 right now, the technology behind it and its ability to handle huge amounts of money were what made me believe in its promise. This very possibility means that XRP will need to be worth a lot more in the future than it is now. Please keep in mind that I'm not a licensed financial manager. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to hit the follow button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you turn on alerts so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful.